Hi, uh, in this video we're going to make a clock enable circuit based on a simple AND gate in Proteus. So go to the devices section and then double click the white space and we'll search for an AND gate. You can type in 74 whatever. Uh, choose a family. It's always best for this circuit to have a faster chip to avoid the clock getting skewed. So we've got a 74 LS08 AND gate. There's four of them on the chip, but we use one. I don't actually end up using this LED, but if you want to, you can have um, an animated LED. You need a resistor, possibly later on in the circuit. It's always good to have them. A logic state, which uh, we can set as an input being one or zero, and a, a logic probe big, which will show us what a logic state is at an output. We'll get a clock signal, which we're going to uh, enable and disable with this uh, AND gate. We'll set it to a low frequency of just one hertz for now. So we can see things visually rather than later on we'll use the oscilloscope. So get your AND gate, wire one input to the clock signal. Get the logic state, which we can set as one or zero, wire it to the other input. Press escape if this happens. Then a logic probe at the output and you have to put in every individual wire and press simulate and the clock's going on and off with a 50% duty cycle here. Red is on, blue is off. And as we enable the other input of the AND gate, the output follows the clock because it's only high when both inputs are high because of the AND function. So by clicking the other selector low, it disables the clock from coming through the AND gate. So this is great for when you want to pause a counter or something like that. And stop the simulation. Now we're going to go into meter mode and get a, an oscilloscope. And we're going to change the clock to one kilohertz, something a bit faster. Put the clock in channel A, the selector signal in channel B and the output in channel C and get rid of the logic probe because it will flash too quickly for us to see at uh, one kilohertz. It doesn't have to be this frequency. Put 1000 or 1k. Just wanted it to be pretty fast. Now we press simulate, uh, change the time base and the volts per division, put all of your inputs at DC on the oscilloscope. The clock follows the input when that's high, and now that the selector's low, the clock's disabled. So it's disabled now, and now it's enabled. So it's a way of stopping a clock from getting through to a counter. The blue line is the selector voltage and the yellow is the input clock, the purple is the output. You can turn the cursors on to see what the voltages are if you want to. But this is a really handy circuit, so please have a go. Put it in front of any of your counters if you want to pause them. And uh, good luck with this, I hope it's helpful.